All right, team, this is another video uh, looking at some tactical um, positioning and some tactics in our soccer games. So we have a similar uh, setup here on the soccer field. As you can see, we've got four players from our team represented by the orange colors here, and then four players represented uh, by the purple color here uh, for our opponents. And then let's just say the situation we want to focus is on um, what do we do when we get the ball from our opponents and are on our half of the field so this here is our half of the field because we want to try and score in this direction towards our opponent's goal so the situation i want to talk about is what do we do when we get the ball while we're while we are in our half of the soccer field so let's just say this pink dot represents the soccer ball and as you can see your opponents currently have the ball and let's just assume a couple seconds later we end up with the ball and have some of our players near the ball and some of the opponent players near the ball so there's a couple of things we can do right off the bat and I'll give you a couple options and you tell me what you think is the best option. Option number one, the player, our teammate, number one, number two, number three, number four, our teammate number two who has the ball. The first option is to go in this direction, either to dribble it or to pass it to this teammate while they're running in this direction. That's option number one. The second option is for this teammate who has the ball to just kick it in the middle or, or to stand right there in the middle of the field. So those are the two options. Can you take a guess which is the better option? Option number one, to move away from the middle of the field and away from the goal or option two where you stand here with the ball and try and kick it up the field which one do you think is a better option yes you're correct option number one is the better option because it takes away the danger of the soccer ball being taken away from us by our opponents who then by this point, the opponents, if they got the ball from us, are most likely further up the soccer field, right? And that means they're now closer to our goal and in a better position to score. So one thing we practiced in our last session, which we did a great job of, was when we get the ball... When we get the ball, for this player to run in this direction, it doesn't have to be perfectly in this, the way the arrow is shown with the curve, but basically go on this side of the field towards this line, right? And the main reason is because you want to get it away from the middle of the field, which is closer to the goal. Obviously, you can do the same thing on the other side. So you can also, let's say the ball slightly more on the left-hand side of the field. You would do the same thing, right? Would you stay in the middle of the field or would you go to the edge of the soccer field? Yes, you're correct. So this player can either pass in this direction, which again is basically moving the whole soccer ball and all the teammates in this direction away from this goalpost or just dribble it themselves in this direction right so those are that's another thing that we practiced uh, for those of you who, who missed uh, the last session and just wanted to share what we did and hopefully this makes sense and i'm really looking forward to seeing this on the soccer field in our game thanks